trip with the dog. Just an easy one today, just kind of cruising along, not in any hurry. Got my favorite spot here. Got a picnic table. Just boiled some water, made coffee, and uh, got a little breakfast going in the uh, cozy right there. And I have uh, something called breakfast casserole. And that's from Hawk Vittles. Here is the label from it. You just add water just above the, the food in the bag and then leave it sit for 15 minutes. It's got egg, milk, cheese, whole grain bread, onion, mushrooms, olive oil, and salt. So we'll see how that tastes. If it's not very good, I got some hot sauce I can add to it. Uh, Digby is right here. Digby! Hey, buddy! He's already had his little doggy snacks. And I think he's enjoying himself today. Um, we were out here once when, after I first got him. And uh, yeah, he was a little tentative because he hadn't been out places much, I don't think. And it was pretty windy that day. There's a breeze blowing today, but it's not too bad. Anyway, so I'm going to chill here and drink a cup of coffee, and I'll get back to you in a couple of minutes. Okay, the uh, Hawk Vittles breakfast casserole is ready. And oh my god, it's delicious. It's really tasty. Um, Cozy kept it nice and hot. It only had to sit for 15 minutes, so... Anyways, uh, yeah, this is a tasty one. Not even going to have to put any hot sauce on it. It's got a little zing in it from something. Uh, I will definitely be buying more of this. It's really tasty. All right, I'm going to go enjoy it now. You know, there's a lot of things I've regretted buying over the years, but i got to tell you, camping gear of any sort is not among them. Um... Uh, I love these little backpacking stoves. I have three now. I love the little tea kettle, but I haven't used it in a while. But I used it today and it works great. I got my little multi-tool, my little Leatherman squirt that I got from Allen. Use that a lot. Bought a little transistor radio. Not getting any reception out here though, unfortunately. And then I've got my little box of goodies in here. I've got all kinds of things for cooking, being comfortable. Um, I've got several meals in here because I wasn't sure what I wanted, but I wanted to try out some of the backpacking meals before I committed to using them on a trip. Uh, I've still got one of the hot vittles, the breakfast grits, bacon and egg. And if it's as good as that breakfast casserole I just had, boy, I'm in for a treat. Digby is pretty happy. He seems to be enjoying himself today. Uh, he had one of his big bickets. And, uh, yeah, we're all good. I'm going to sit here for a while. And I think we're going to hit the road again. Wow, that's pretty here. It's pretty, pretty, pretty. stuff in the back for being comfortable. Didn't bring a ton of stuff, but I got enough. If I had to stay out somewhere overnight, I could. I could probably stay a couple of days with all the food I have. So, anyways, thanks for watching, and uh, I'm going to hit the road in a little while. All right. I'm up on Big Rock Creek Road. This is where I come fishing in the spring. Um, kind of looked into some pools. I don't really see any fish. Uh, there is quite a bit of water in there. It's running good. But, uh, like I said, I'm just not seeing any fish. But I'm going to walk over here a little bit and see what I can find. Looks a little barren in here with none of the 
trees have leaves on them. The sycamores and the alders are all bare right now. But it's still pretty. That right there is sometimes a really good pool. And so is this area right here. It's really nice. I almost brought my rod today, but I got the dog with, so... Digby? Little feller? Are you having a good time? Huh? Are you having a good time? Huh? Are you having a good time? Yeah, he's been a good boy. Come down a little closer to the creek here. A lot of water. I'm just not seeing any fish. And there's no one fishing here, so I'm wondering what's going on. Digby's uh, seems to be really enjoying this little trip. He's got his nose to the ground. He's leading the way. Hold on, buddy. Hold on, we can't go that way. Hey, 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 no eating. Uh-uh, don't eat anything. I don't know what the hell he's eating. <laughs> Take me, stop. Come on. Just to show you that, unfortunately, it is not pristine around here. You gotta wonder why someone would just leave all their clothes right here. It's pretty bizarre. And of course, the uh, ever-present graffiti. It's really a shame. And the trees, I mean, they're just covered with carvings. Just breaks my heart sometimes, but that's people for you. Looks like there's some more stuff over here. I stopped into, uh, I think it's Big Sycamore Campground. Uh, no reservations, no fee, like first come, first serve. Of course, uh, <laughs> There's nobody here. They have uh, a pair of pit toilets. And I'm not sure how many spaces are here, but I did notice right there is a perfect spot to hang a hammock. So next time, I'm bringing it. I almost brought it today just uh, in case I found some trees to hang it in and kind of wishing I did now. Um, Anyways, eh, it's a nice spot. There's a lot of micro trash on the ground, you know, bottle caps, milk rings, that kind of stuff, plastic wear. But uh, huh, there's nobody here and it's really nice and quiet. So I'm waiting for my lunch to cook. And I'm just going to stay here for a while. It's like only about 1.30, so still got a good part of the day to go. There's the uh, goat mobile there. Oh, I love my truck. <laughs> Have so much fun in that thing. And uh, Digby's had a few snacks. And he's just kind of poking his head around here, seeing what he can find. Oh, buddy. I don't dare let him loose. He's, I don't really trust him off the leash. So if he sees a ground squirrel or something, God knows how far he'd run. So anyways, I got my uh, little table set up again. Got the uh, Brunt and Cub. Uh, I think it's the 8 ounce canister of fuel. My Primus Light Tech Kettle. And uh, there's my little brew kit. 
the little mesh top pouch. I keep all my coffee and sweetener and creamer and all that jazz in it. Extra spoon and a lighter so it's always handy. Um, I had just enough water left for some coffee which made me real happy. And uh, that's the setup for this afternoon. So uh, I'll be seeing you in a little bit. Oh, and there's the cozy with the meal in it too. Got to check on it. It's like a, <laughs> almost like a little primitive oven. You know, it just keeps your dehydrated thing hot while it's uh, setting up so you don't lose all the heat. Pretty cool little gadgets. I'm really glad I made a few of them, different sizes. Well, this has turned into a uh, food testing day, I guess. I'm uh, going to make some lunch now, and we've got Parker Pass Potatoes by Trail Foods. Um, there's a little packet right there, right there, that's got potatoes, leeks, corn, and cabbage. And then right there under the knife is a uh, creamy chicken sauce. So uh, I'm heating up some water again in the kettle and gonna see how this works. Digby's uh, he's all comfortable on his little pillow and we took after we took our little walk down by the stream and uh, I'll check back with you and let you know how the potatoes are. I stopped into uh, I think it's Big Sycamore Campground. Uh, no reservations, no fee like first come first serve. Of course, uh, <laughs> there's nobody here. They have a pair of pit toilets and I'm not sure how many spaces are here but I did notice right there is a perfect spot to hang a hammock. So next time I'm bringing it. I almost brought it today just uh, in case I found some trees to hang it in and kind of wishing I did now. Um, anyways, eh, it's a nice spot. There's a lot of micro trash on the ground, you know, bottle caps, milk rings, that kind of stuff, plastic wear. But uh, huh, there's nobody here and it's really nice and quiet. So I'm waiting for my lunch to cook. And I'm just going to stay here for a while. It's like only about 1.30, so still got a good part of the day to go. There's the uh, goat mobile there. Oh, I love my truck. <laughs> that was so much fun in that thing. And uh, Digby's had a few snacks. And he's just kind of poking his head around here, seeing what he can find. Oh, buddy. I don't dare let him loose. He's I don't really trust him off the leash, so if he sees a ground squirrel or something, God knows how far he'd run. So anyways, I got my uh, little table set up again. Got the uh, Brunt and Cub. Uh, I think it's the 8 ounce canister of fuel. My Primus Light Tech Kettle. And uh, there's my little brew kit. It's a little mesh top pouch. I keep all my coffee and sweetener and creamer and all that jazz in it. Extra spoon and a lighter so it's always handy. Um, I had just enough water left for some coffee which made me real happy. And uh, that's the setup for this afternoon. So uh, I'll be seeing you in a little bit. Oh and there's the cozy with the meal in it too. Got to check on it. It's like a, <laughs> almost like a little primitive oven. You know, it just keeps your dehydrated thing hot while it's uh, setting up so you don't lose all the heat. Pretty cool little gadgets. I'm really glad I made a few of them, different sizes. The Parker Pass potates are done. Uh, it looked a little watery, but as soon as I added the... Uh, uh, sauce mix in there. They uh, thickened up so there's probably some kind of thickener in there. Smells pretty good but uh, I don't know. Taste will tell. 
I'll report in a minute. All right, well, the Parker Pass potatoes. Hmm, they're okay. There's a lot of salt in them. I didn't even look at that. It's like 1390 milligrams, uh, and it's one serving. Uh, they taste like stovetop stuffing. That's kind of what it reminds me of, and the little potatoes are in small chunks. Uh, it's a one serving. I think it's way too much for one person, unless, you know, you haven't eaten all day, maybe. But uh, anyways, it was an interesting uh, little food test, and uh, probably won't have them again. Last thing on the menu today, a barely cold polar bear freeze-dried cookies and cream ice cream sandwich. And wow, it actually is a little ice cream sandwich. Most of the cookie came off the other side. Just took a bite. Uh, it's pretty darn good. Uh, I got a sweet tooth after eating that potato thing. Ooh, boy, that thing was salty. We're drinking a gallon of water now. Anyways, a uh, little treat before I uh, take five here, and uh, I'm gonna stay here another hour, I think, and before I hit the road. Um, anyways, there's the package. Holder Bear freeze-dried cookies and cream. Not bad. Well, I don't know if you can see this or not, or see us both, but uh, little buddy and I are sitting here in the chair, had lunch, and uh, God, it's just so nice and peaceful and quiet here. Really like it. So uh, this may probably be the last section of the video because we packing up and leaving in about a half an hour or so. It's going to take me a good two, two hours to get home from here. So uh, anyways, thanks for coming along and it's been fun. And it's kind of weird being in front of the camera, but I'm going to try to do that a little bit more. Get over the camera shyness. Digby, did you have fun today? Digby, over here, over here, look, over here, there. He's camera shy. All right. See ya. Thanks for coming. Okay, this was too good to pass up. Uh, I'm driving out of the campground, and I believe this is called Sycamore Flat, but it appears that the Forest Service can't spell these days. Really, really bad, fellas. Gotta get over this stuff. <laughs>